if we bedded them, we could for sure put a stock right there. up to you it's your tag no it's not up to you I you love him it's got a bladed three on that one side Last night, I don't remember if we videoed it or not, but we had a warning sticker. I kind of ripped it off. <laughs> yeah. It has a warning sticker on our trailer because it's been here too long. So to avoid getting a ticket, we are going to hurry up and move it before the afternoon evening hunt. of the day. Down to the wire though, it's Sunday night. We have basically two more days of hunting total. So yeah don't be mine. So now or never. I burned quite a few points on this tag. We are ready to get a good buck. Now we just need a little bit of luck to get it done. So on the way back to camp tonight, two big bucks ran across the road and we were able to mark their position with Onyx maps. It is the second to last morning. I believe it's like September 8th or 9th. One year ago today, Nicole killed her giant Colorado muzzleloader deer. Hoping that's some good luck. And on another side note, this is the first time in all of September, all of fall, that I've actually had to put on a jacket. It's been crazy hot in Utah and Arizona. And the deer movement has just been... I don't want to say non-existent, but it's been super slow. That gets me kind of excited. It's actually cold. Um, I have to put on my jacket. It actually feels like September. So we are just getting ready to head out. We decided to hunt pretty close to camp today after seeing that big buck in the headlights last night. 
And we're gonna see what happens. Good night. sure if that was the right thing to do or not but I just passed on a super unique uh, buck super tall real heavy old he like basically touched in the front super narrow probably only like seriously only 10 inches wide but I still have one I still have the rest of the morning tonight and tomorrow morning so Definitely had a handful of opportunities at bucks well within bow range that I could have killed or at least shot at. I feel confident I would have killed them. But that's the name of the game when you're looking for something a little more special. So we are going to keep working this country and see what else we can find. The camp cook Nicole over here. Getting some breakfast burritos ready. She can't find me a big buck, but she can make a pretty mean breakfast burrito. Huh. Still got a day. What should happen? Just got back from the morning hunt. We stayed out quite a while. Passed on a cool buck, but still not quite what we're looking for, even with lowered standards, so keep after it. Breakfast is served. Nicole likes to ruin hers with ketchup. See how many way. So we were just barely still hunting through the timber and we looked up and there's two big bucks just 150 yards away from us they saw us but I just barely backed out so that they could watch me leave and left Skylar there so he is right there bucks. One of those deer is huge. He's big. 190 plus all day. He flares out on his twos and he's a big buck. The wind is perfect. The wind will be right in his face going to those bucks. This is the opportunity we've been waiting for. I'm hoping Skylar can drop out of sight and sneak in closer and just kind of let these bucks settle down and then move in close enough for a shot. We'll see. This is our last day. So he's got to make something happen. closest I got was like, I think it was 156. Really? And they just it was walking. three bucks. They were all big. <sighs> Biggest really? one that I saw. Giant backs, big solid front seat. So had to have been close to a 200 inch to pull. I saw that one staring at us His right at first. Was insane. Oh my gosh. There's no play? We'll go and try to catch them again in a different canyon. I don't know where they went. Skill box didn't see you after I left. I know. I just watched you leave. Frick. And then I was sneaking, I'm like, oh, those cows won't care. Yeah. They blew out of there. Oh, and the canyon they went into was so thick. They were all giant, though. Oh my gosh. I was just gonna what shoot What was the whichever. biggest one? That one that was looking at us. Really? Giant, tall. His threes flared out. He just had a pretty sucker. frame. Should we go see if we can get closer? Yeah. Go try again. We still have time. It's only 5.30. We've got three hours till dark. Yeah. Let's go see if we can we'll cover some of these canyons and see if we can run into them again. Yeah. I don't think they went far. But I was just going to keep going, but it just got thick and loud. I'm like, this is. I bet it's pretty wild. hard yeah. moving in these pine needles. Pine needles. The wind was good, though. It kept getting big gusts of wind that would cover up my sound. But... 
there's definitely still time to go get back on those or find another one. Like this is a nice little pocket of trees. Oh, and when I was getting close to those. So right where they disappeared, I didn't even see the cows. They kind of came out of nowhere. Yeah. And I got within like 80 yards and there's like this gray cow. And I just see its body through the trees. I'm like, oh crap. You're like, it's him. They're right there. I'm going to shoot that sucker. And then I pulled my binos up and it was a stupid cow. Rick, I thought for sure you'd have him. Like everything just worked out so perfect. Like everything we planned last night to find him in one of these little canyons. I don't know. This whole... This hunt was worth that little moment right there. Was that to chase awesome? a deer like that just... big. There's some giants here. I'm just sad it's the it's our We're last out of night. Time. So it is the very last morning that I can hunt out here in Arizona with my tag. It's going to be a short morning hunt. I probably only got three hours, and then I gotta head back and start guiding again, but we'll see what happens. We're going to need a miracle, or I'm just going to need to stop being so picky. Could have killed a lot of bucks on this hunt. Like, a lot. I probably could have killed over 10 bucks that were within bow range even more than that if you count two points and stuff like that but i'm gonna get after it and see what happens he's got a broken ear Well, this is painful. So, it's a wrap for my 2019 Arizona archery tag. Looks like I'll be eating tag soup, but I passed a lot of bucks that most people would shoot just for the chance at a giant, and I got two chances, just couldn't quite make it count. So, it was worth it to me, worth the risk. It really sucks eating tag soup, but to me, the challenge is killing a big mature buck we're running late, gotta go, so thanks for watching. Hopefully this was entertaining. An elk this weekend and Colorado this weekend, so still got lots to go. Stay tuned.